The City of Aurora's week-long celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is underway. Hello everyone, I'm Christina Rainey. And I'm Wendy Brockman. Thanks for joining us. It's the city's 37th annual commemoration event and the theme this year is United by the Dream. Here's a look at some of the sights and sounds from the opening ceremony. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmony. Never mind statues couldn't leave. No, lead the way Martin was pointing at me. At three passerby with his eyes averted towards something outlined, so much more than a vision, yet too far away for us to see. The fact that this commemoration has been happening in Aurora since 1986 is a testament to the dedicated staff and volunteers who saw something important, not only in Dr. King's message of peace justice, freedom, and opportunity, but also in Aurora's community of diverse yet unified people. Good stuff. It's always such a powerful way to kick off the program. Yes, and our thanks to Aurora TV team's newest member, Blaine Robinson, for putting that piece together. Thank you so much. There are a lot of other events taking place around Aurora to honor Dr. King. And they include everything from a youth summit to a day of service, even a rodeo. The summit takes place January 14th at Empower Community High School in Aurora and is hosted in part by the Aurora chapter of the NAACP. There are two opportunities to take part in the day of service, which is also on the 14th. The first is putting together care packages for local students, and that's happening at Hoffman Library. The other is a habitat cleanup day at Hamden Run Park. And then on the official MLK holiday, Monday, January 16th, there will be a wreath laying ceremony outside of Aurora's Martin Luther King Jr. Library. The time is a little different this year. It gets underway in the afternoon at 12.30 p.m. That event will be followed by a free dinner and a resource fair at the library. And then the final event is the MLK Junior Heritage Rodeo, and that's all happening at the Denver Coliseum that night. So fun. We have a link on our website with more details about all of these events, as well as many others. Whereas uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., having been a prophetic voice and that reached out over the chasms of hostility, prejudice, ignorance, and fear, to touch the conscience of America, challenged us to make real the promise of freedom, equality, opportunity, and brotherhood. And whereas Dr. King was a vital figure of the modern era, which sparked the conscience of a generation through the movements and marches he led, and whereas an uncompromising champion of nonviolence, though often being the victim of said violence, Dr. King demonstrated unshakable faith and inspired others to resist the temptation to hate and fear, and whereas an instrument of change for all time, Dr. King helped make it possible for our nation to move closer to the ideals set forth in our Declaration of Independence, that all people are created equal, and whereas with his life devoted to serving others by proclaiming a message of love that transcended borders, the strength of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s leadership was matched only by the power of his words, which still call us to perfect those sacred ideals enshrined in the United States of America's founding documents. Now, therefore, I, Michael Kaufman, Mayor of the City of Aurora, Colorado, do hereby proclaim January 9th to 16th, 2023, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Week. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Aurora, Colorado to be affixed this third day of January 2023. And I just want to thank the committee for all of your extraordinary work uh, that's not done yet. We have so many events this week. I think we have more events than any other city in Colorado. 
uh, and I'm very proud of that. We all should be very proud of that. But uh, um, who is receiving this uh, on behalf of your committee? Okay. There we go. thank everyone and all of our um, community for just coming out tonight to for the opening ceremony it was wonderful but as he said we do have a long week to go <laughs> and just hope to see you all back um, this week as well thank you mayor Kaufman for always just being supportive of this holiday and we appreciate you and City Council thank you, thank you. We will always be united by the dream. Hello, everyone. I'm Miranda Christian. And I'm Wendy Brockman. Thanks for joining us. Aurora's 37th annual commemoration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has come to a close. But the hope is his powerful message and lasting legacy will continue to inspire us throughout the year. Christina Rainey joins us now with a look back at the grand finale of this year's tribute. Thanks, Wendy. As always, Aurora's week-long celebration of Dr. King wrapped up with a wreath-laying ceremony. It takes place every year on the official holiday by the city statue of Dr. King outside of our MLK Junior Library. This year's ceremony paid tribute through music, words, and service. Praise it! Oh, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail At the twilight's last gleaming Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the for a celebration? Are we here to celebrate the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Two hands giving and taking circumnavigate a cold winter together. I am so proud to be called a citizen of America, and I am also so proud to be part of the beautiful diversity of Aurora. Don't just do things because of what people are gonna think of you. Do things because it's right. Mayor Kaufman and Congressman Jason Crow also attended the event. It wrapped up with a free dinner and resource fair hosted by Brother Jeff's Cultural Center, the Dayton Street Opportunity Center, and Centura Health. Volunteers also handed out over 2,000 free meals. Many thanks to all of them. While the city's wreath-laying ceremony takes place annually, there were also several new events this year that were part of our week-long commemoration. The, one of them was a national chess tournament that took place January 14th and 15th at the Aurora Central library. It featured players from across the country, including three distinguished grand masters. APL teamed up with the Denver Chess Club for the event and regularly host programs throughout the year in partnership with the group. It was created in 1859 and is the state's oldest and largest chess club. Aurora's MLK commemoration has come to an end, but we're already looking ahead to Black History Month. Yes, it's in February, and this year, Aurora TV is producing a special you don't want to miss. It's called Celebrating Black History Through the Arts. Martin is pointing at the dream, you and me. It features Aurora's poet laureate, Asia Fox, reading some of her original works. You know these eyes anywhere behind velvet curtains I try to avert them from your smile as well as Aurora singer-songwriter Yonla who recently performed on Aurora TV Talented Aurora piano prodigy Jude Kofi, who we introduced you to earlier this month. 
The show also pays tribute to Aurora Trailblazers Edna Mosley, Aurora's first black city council member, and her husband John, a Tuskegee Airman. We are so excited about yes. this show. It's going to air beginning Wednesday, February 1st at 6 p.m. instead of Aurora Now. You can watch it several more times after that on Aurora TV, and you can catch it anytime on our website. Aurora Now will then return with a brand new episode Wednesday, February 8th. Well, another show coming up ties in perfectly with MLK Week and Black History Month. The energetic president of the Community College of Aurora is the star of the latest edition of Faces and Places. And what a story he has to tell, from failing math and flipping burgers to leading the most diverse college in the state. It, and, and it comes down to this reality that over 50% of our students are first generation. Right. And so you pair that with over 90 countries represented. Many of these, these families are coming to this country, coming to Aurora, uh, looking for social and economic mobility. And, and they need and want to learn um, not only the language, but our cultures and understand how they bring value to our community. You'll hear how CCA is making those American dreams come true. Plus, Dr. Brownlee's obsession with bow ties, why he exercises in his office and loves it when his staff takes time to knit a scarf. Check out Faces and Places on Aurora TV and auroratv.org. <laughs>